Warriors are 15 and 0. Chance to close out this series on Friday, or Chuck comes with us to uh, the Bay Area for Game Five uh, next week. They have won all 15 of their postseason games. They have a record margin of victory, playoff history so far. If they win on Friday night, finish off a perfect postseason, is this the greatest NBA season by any team ever? I would have to say on a run to the finals, yes and no. You know, I, I love these conversations because we will never know the true answers. You know, you can't forget about the Celtics, you can't forget about the Lakers, you can't forget about me and Cole. Bunch of great teams on the list, sure. Bunch of great teams on the list, but, you know, to say that they're the best ever, I'm a little biased on that because, you, you know, the Celtics and the Lakers and, and the Pistons and the Bulls, you know, their run, we had a run. Uh, the 16 0 is impressive. You know, we did it with the 15 1. We thought that was impressive. If they go 16 and 0, they'll definitely be in the conversation. But yeah, you know, so you many great forget, teams. Yeah, Duke's Bird and, and 86 Magic. 86 Celtics. Yeah, 86 Bird, Magic, uh, Fo Fo Fo, Chuck. Yep. Yep. Fo Fo Fo. So, you know, it's a lot of great teams. But, you know, th this has always been barbershop talk of who's the best player in the league. 96 and Bulls. You know what? When, whenever somebody asks me that question, I say, okay, what rules are we playing with? Because imagine yeah. MJ with the no hand exactly. check rule. No, 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 that's a completely imagine fair. Imagine MJ with the no imagine hand check Imagine how many rule. free throws he yes, would average today. So, I'm, it, I'm it, asking if he's the greatest season ever. I'm not saying greatest team because you can't compare. I, I agree, it. you can't so, compare different eras. It, I, would, I would say yes. I would say yes. I, I, would, I would still say, you know, when you win the most game, 72, I don't even think the Bulls went to a game seven or a game. I don't think Major never went to a game seven. Uh, I, I really don't like the question. I don't like those arguments anymore. You don't anymore. like my question? No, because yeah, like you I said, it's like a barber. I take offense yeah. to that. I don't like you either, man. I expect it from you. He don't like I expect it from you. I'm like the rest of your family. Webb's usually nice to me. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, it's, it's just such a hard it's just such a hard argument. And then well, we get me, caught yeah. up in things like this and that. And like Chuck said earlier, Durant is, first of all, a great player. But he's playing with guys that allow him to space the floor, and there's so many other technical things in it that that's what makes them really good. Though. These, yeah, yeah, but Matt, it, it is. But it's also the era and the style of play that if Bird, who only averaged about two three pointers a game, didn't, you know, it's like he could have shot more no, in this era. Larry Bird led the so, league once with 82 or 81 three pointers in a whole season. It's a so different game. Right. Different, a different freedom, game. You know, okay. So, so let me ask you a question. All You're gonna ask you me guys. a question. All three of you guys. Oh, okay. Okay, so we all live it in the moment. This team won 73 games last year. Mm-hmm. And let's be realistic. If Draymond does not get suspended, they probably win the championship next year. Maybe so. So, so would that, is that the best team? So would that be the best team? It might have been, yeah. So, so I, this this question, there's no right or wrong answer. No, that's the beauty of no, it. But, I'm just but, asking but, your but, opinion. But, but, but no, but I'm saying though, think about it. We're saying we're living in the moment right now. Yeah. But. They were better, had a better record last year. But they're a better team this year, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. they, they just added three. Kevin Durant. Right. Of course I mean, they're better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, but, but I'm just saying they were really damn good last yes, year. Yes, they were. Yes, they, they won were. 73 NBA games and were up 3-1 in the finals until uh, Jan Stenerud started kicking people. <laughs> Jan Stenerud. <laughs> yeah. Jan Stenerud. <laughs> Jan Stenerud made the show. That one from I, I, did, I did not you wake up this morning. I did not name. wake up this morning expecting he to hear was, Jan Stenerud well, uh, at he any was, point today. He was one of the nicest men I ever met. I played golf on a celebrity tour with him a couple times. For those of you who don't know, and I'm guessing yeah, that's a fair amount that of our is. audience, Jan Stenerud was an NFL place kicker for, like, forever. One of the greatest ever. What team? Yeah. The Kansas City Kansas Chiefs. Chiefs. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a Lions fan. I didn't know. I, know I don't know why. <laughs> and I'm a Cowboys hey, fan. Oh, way stupid. to jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> yeah, what? for how you a Cowboys fan? Because I played football, and they used to call me Ed Two Tall Jones, so that's when I started loving the Cowboys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God, man. Jerry, you know what? Jerry, Jerry Jones nah, knows my you love for like Cowboys. Cowboys up too, uh. D, tell him D who I like. Cowboys. That's because he now. liked the Cowboys no, too. No, I've been liking the Cowboys uh, since '76. Would you like to make any other obscure references, Chuck, uh, before listen, we get off the air? Randy White. Rent. Oh man, Randy Rent, White's yeah. not obscure. Hockey yeah, prediction tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, and will you be there? Uh, I think I'm going there. And will you uh, take me with you? I'm, uh, I'm going uh, Nashville moose, two to one. Big moose. Nashville two to one. Nash, you say, Nashville two, two to one. And you're going to go to Pittsburgh. I'm driving to Pittsburgh to go to Game Five of the Stanley Cup Finals tomorrow.